add this to the list of reasons. Whoa. Why National Geographic readers named Peru the top international destination anywhere. Paragliding is also how you experience the best views of Lima, the capital of this South American country. Aparte que es distinto, es un volar, es siempre ha sido el deseo de todas las personas como las volar como las aves, ¿no? The cliffs of Lima attract visitors from across the globe who are looking for an adventure of a lifetime. I actually did some research and it's one of the best places in the world to learn. I mean, this place is pretty sweet. Uh, the wind is perfect and it was pretty straightforward. You just have to run, jump, and I guess the hard part is to get the guts to jump. <laughs> Back on the ground in Lima, you're going to encounter traffic that makes Boston driving seem, well, like a cakewalk. And if you think the MBTA has issues. This is a city with more than 10 million people and we don't have a metro system. Uh, the first line of the metro was, it took 25 years. The second one is, be, is being building right now at the subway. Juan Aurelio Arevalo Miro Casada is the editor-in-chief of El Comercio, yeah. Peru's oldest newspaper. Despite Lima's transportation challenges, tourism in Peru is on the rise. There are many tourism destinations in this country. You can see the historical center of Lima. You can go to the Amazon. You can go to the highlands. You can go to the beaches in the north. Uh, you can visit Cusco. And while Lima used to be where people flew into to catch a flight to another place in Peru, now the capital is a destination with plenty to see. From the fountains at the magical water circuit to the hundreds of stray cats in Kennedy Park. My girlfriend Heather is incredibly good at researching places we visit ahead of time. And she saw a cat park and that became instantly first day destination. Barranco is considered Lima's coolest neighborhood. A visit here must include a walk across the Bridge of Sighs. Make a wish and hold your breath. Do you think about the dream of the witch? Okay, uh, holding your breath, your dreams become true. In Chorillos, another neighborhood in Lima, you'll find a very different kind of tourist attraction. Me llamo Fernando Jesús Canchari Vázquez. A man who jumps off a cliff hour after hour, day after day. He's working for tips, reenacting the legendary dive of a man who could not be with his lover. So they jumped into the ocean to be together. Hay días que vengo un poco cargado de problemas, de cosas, ¿no? De la vida cotidiana. Bien, gracias. Y ya yo vengo aquí, me pongo el traje y me doy un salto. Amigos. Wow. Pura vida. And a trip to Peru would not be complete without a visit to Machu Picchu, one of the seven wonders of the modern world. Machu Picchu means old mountain. Machu means old, Picchu means mountain. You'll fly for an hour and 20 minutes to Cusco, then take a train to the lost city of the Incan Empire. Or if you're ready to brave the high altitude, you can try to hike. So per day nowadays we receive 5,000 people. If you want to visit the whole place, you have to book the entrance ticket three months, two months in advance. The dunes of Ica offer another unforgettable experience in Peru. Four-hour drive from Lima, it's an oasis for off-roading and sandboarding. Creo que Huacachín es la capital de, del sandboard aquí. Mucha gente de Europa viene aquí para poder experimentar esta experiencia ¿no? del sandboard el esquí en la arena. El sandboard es como hacerlo en un ambiente abierto, conexión con uno mismo, con los amigos. Es increíble. An incredible country steeped in history and tradition. As captured by the Bayambrosio family and their generations of playing Afro-Peruvian music. El mensaje que queremos dar es el amor a el amor y dedicación a lo que a tu identidad, de dónde eres, ¿no? 
Wow, there's so much there. Oh, and really? you were there in July and August. Was it hot? Well, our summer is their winter. It's okay. below the equator. So, and it was a heat wave here, mm -hmm. if you recall, in the summer. We had a lot of heat waves. So, when we got down there in July, it was 60s, cool uh -huh. and overcast. And I loved it, to be honest with you. When you go to Ica and you go to Cusco, it's a little more like our summer, 70s in the day, mm -hmm. sunny, but really an unbelievable adventure. Wow. All right. Coming up, the magic of home cooking.